South Africa celebrates its rich cultures on Heritage Day every year. Companies too have unique cultures that define their essence. Today we will explore the importance of defining company culture, the role of accountability and how performance management ties it all together. Hi, my name is Molen Mkuse, the Managing Director of Brain Chartered Accountants. Hit the like button and subscribe to this channel as we always post premium business content. So don't miss out. Heritage Day in South Africa is a testament to the power of culture. It's a day where people celebrate their roots, traditions and their shared history. Similarly, in the corporate world, culture plays a pivotal role in defining a company's identity. As a leader of a vibrant organization, your organizational identity should be not be a wishy-washy. It should be clear to everyone within the organization. It is important to know that a strong company culture fosters a sense of belonging. It motivates the employees and it drives performance. But how do we ensure that this culture is not just words on the wall, but it's a living, breathing entity is a question for many. Many entrepreneurs and leaders, if not all, desire everything to be okay, right? I can tell you with certainty, they wish for the organization to be a movement where everyone understands the purpose, understands the goal, and understands the vision. Let's start by defining organizational culture. Organizational culture refers to shared values, beliefs, behavior, customs, and attitudes that characterize and guide an organization's practice. It encompasses the collective way things are done in an organization and sets the tone of how employees interact and make decisions and approach their work. Organizational culture is often described as the way things are done around here. Being accountable for your company culture plays a great role in shaping the organization and the organizational le leadership within the organization. For you to ensure that culture is not just words on the wall, but a living, breathing entity, the following factors influence culture should actually be understood. Number one, leadership. The behavior and values of leaders within the organization plays a significant role in setting the tone for the organization. Their decisions, their communication styles, and the action serve as a model for the team members that they lead. I'm actually tempted to say an organization is as good as its leaders. Number two, is the mission and the vision of the company. The company's mission and vision statement often provides a roadmap, a roadmap for its culture, outlining its purpose and its goals and its values. Remember, culture is who we are as an organization. Do your team member know the organization's mission and its vision? Number three is your values or your beliefs. These are the core principles that guide the behavior of individuals within the organization. In our organization, one of our core principles is accountability and ownership. We are big at this on all levels, as it's our core principle for our company. Number four is the policies and procedures. The formal rules and guidelines set by the organization can shape its culture by detecting how tasks are accomplished within the organization. I know a lot of SMEs fall short on policies and procedures as they don't put this in order many times. Policies and procedures are core to any organization of any size. Investing in this is very important. Actually, at Brainmos, our advisory team, they focus and specialize in setting out policies and procedures for SMEs. Number five is the organizational structure. Whether it's hierarchical, it's flat, or even matrixed, the structure can influence the communication pattern, decision-making process, and the power dynamics in shaping the culture within that organization. That matters, the organizational structure. Number six is the external environment. Market conditions, industry trends, societal changes can actually influence an organization's culture. So it is always important to know how these factors will impact your organizational culture or the way that you operate. Last but not least, number seven is, and is very important, is your company history and traditions. 
past experiences, stories and rituals can shape your culture for your organization. Just as individuals share stories on Heritage Day, companies too have stories that shape their culture. These stories, whether of success, failure or transformation, become part and parcel of the company's culture and it influences its culture as well. Accountability ensures that these stories are not just tales, but lessons that guide the future actions. The people who know me actually know that I like asking if every employees or each and every employees is clear about what they are expected to do within the organization. Setting accountability as part of a culture means creating an environment where everyone is clear about where, why they are there in the organization and where they fit in into the value of the organization so that they have a shared purpose within the organization. This promotes responsibility, ownership and results, ensuring that the company's culture is that one for company growth and success. A question may be, how do we measure and reinforce this culture of accountability? This is where performance management comes into play. Actually, Brainmo is launching its performance management system designed to help businesses track their performance. Performance management serves as a mirror reflecting the company's culture, health and guiding its evolution. Performance management clarifies expectations aligned with the company values. It promotes open dialogue, ensuring employees are aligned with the cultural objectives. By recognizing and rewarding those who embody the desired culture attributes, performance management drives individual success and reinforces the company's cultural pillars. Just as Heritage Day reminds us of the strength in unity and the beauty of diversity, a combination of strong company culture, accountability, and effective performance management binds team together, propelling them towards a shared vision. In conclusion, organizational culture is a living entity constantly evolving in response to internal and external factors. While it provides stability and identity to an organization, it must also remain flexible enough to adopt to changing circumstances. Understanding and managing this evolution is crucial for organizations to remain effective, cohesive, and competitive in the long run. Let's celebrate culture in all its forms today and every day. Why don't you just hit the subscribe button, hit the like button or even notification button so that you don't miss out on the future content.